Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna look at REI's newest electric bike addition to their lineup. This is the E1.1 model, and this is a class one uh, electric bike. So what that means is that it's limited to 20 miles per hour, and there is no throttle on this bike, all right? Uh, so a couple facts out of the way, uh, frame is 6061 aluminum. Uh, what you see here is uh, the blue, Crater Lake blue color. It does come in black, white, and yellow options. Uh, this particular bike weighs in at around 54 pounds, which is around 10 to 20 pounds lighter than most other comparable bikes. Uh, this has a suite of Bafang um, components. So it has a 350 watt uh, hub motor, it has a 36 volt, 11.7 amp hour battery, um, which gives us around 417 watt hours. And then it also has a Bafang controller, which we'll get to in a second. And then start here at the cockpit, has some nice winged grips, and these are lock-ons. So that will uh, aid in the installation removal of the grips um, pretty easily. This does come with a seven speed Shimano Altus uh, drivetrain. Uh, comes with a pretty basic bell. There's your controller. Has integrated front and rear lights that run off the battery of the bike. Has a pretty unique stem here. Gives some vertical adjustments as well as fore and aft adjustments. You can see the wiring is, uh, wire management is pretty tidy and it does run through the frame. So it gives it a nice clean look. Uh, up front, there is a Suntour 70 millimeter uh, suspension fork. And in all honestly, it just gives you a little bit of small bump compliance to smooth things out. But um, I wouldn't expect anything more from that. These are 20 inch wheels, 2.4 inch with Schwalbe tires, which are uh, pretty nice quality. One of the more important features of this particular bike is the Tektro hydraulic brakes. Discs are 180 millimeter front and rear, and it's very unique to find hydraulic brakes at this price point, so that was an added plus. You'll see here because the wires are in the frame there's an access port there to aid in the routing of um, the cables and the wires through the frame see the battery here um, counterclockwise to lock uh, clockwise to unlock and the key is only needed to secure the battery you do not need the key um, to operate the bike Pretty unique kickstand. It'll swing out of the way to the left. Another look at the brakes in the rear. You have your integrated rear light. And then you have your Shimano Altus derailleur. One nice thing about this bike is that um, it does have a KMC uh, chain and they do include a master link uh, in the chain so that'll aid in any sort of uh, chain replacement if you ever need to do that. Uh, the rear rack is rated for 59 pounds which means it's uh, for gear only um, not rated to hold another person and the one nice thing about the rear rack is that it is integrated into the frame, so they're not just held on by uh, simple bolts. C and C post are both from uh, REI's co-op uh, brand. Uh, nice quick release, aids in easy adjustments. And I believe the front chain ring is 42 tooth. Um, so there it is. Okay. There's several 
points to mount water bottle cages or any other items and there's also two more attachment points right under there which I'm not quite sure what will fit there um, but it's available uh, one thing to note here um, the valves on the tires are Presta valves instead of the Schrader ones so that's interesting um, just something to note All right, so that's a quick look <clears throat> at the overall bike. Um, we'll move on to uh, the controller and how it all operates. All right, the controller here is pretty easy to operate. You'll see there's a plus and a minus uh, button there and the power button is on the rear. So to get this started, hold the power button And in this particular model, they have um, three different pedal assist settings. So there's a three stage, five stage, or nine stage settings. Uh, it doesn't give you any extra power. It just gives you some options in terms of uh, sensitivity of power assist. This one right now is set up for five levels. So you can see it just changes with the plus and minus. Very easy there. When you hold down the back power button, it will shut off. So let's turn it back on. And then when you hold the plus and minus together, that will get you to um, additional menu settings. So the display, this is a trip reset to the uh, you can change it from imperial to metric units the brightness is for the screen uh, not for the lights so the lights there's only one setting for the lights you have auto off functions you have your assist mode which you can adjust from three five or nine levels of assist um, and then you have a service reminder and then it goes back information setting this is really just for information only uh, these you cannot change. So wheel size is set at 20 inches. Speed limit, which I know everyone is curious about, you cannot increase the speed. So it's set at 20. Then you have battery information, controller information, your display information, which is this uh, hardware and software um, details. That's pretty much it from a controller standpoint. So to activate the light, you just hold the plus sign. And you'll see that it has a nice cutout on the side for some side visibility. See the light there. And if you move around to the back, you'll see that the tail light um, lights up as well. So um, these are not tied into the brakes at all. So when you squeeze the brake levers, they do not activate the lights at all. But to turn off, hold down the button, and there you go. And then here, you can change your um, some additional settings there. So you go from trip to odometer, your max speed, average speed, your range, your calories burned, power usage, uh, time of operation, and then back to trip. All right, so that is a quick look at REI's uh, E1.1 electric bike. There you go. All right, any questions, um, please leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, I'll provide a link to um, REI's um, website for this bike, as well as a different model, a 1.2 uh, 
uh, model that has uh, a little bit um, more power, a little bit of a higher capacity uh, hub motor, uh, and it is more expensive at around $1,900, but I'll include all that in the description below. All right, take care, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.